Yo guys, what is up? It's Dark Forge here, back with another video. So, October 2021 release for the open beta. And I just wanted to say, we had 9 subscribers yesterday, now we have 8. What the heck, guys? I woke up this morning and I saw that. What the heck? What the, well, the what? Actually, it's all good, guys. I really don't care, but uh, thanks for the support. I just really want to do 10 subscribers in two weeks. And we can still do it. So, let's go. So, I want to talk about Transformers Certain Affinity and more opinions on it. And honestly... I don't think this game will exist because if there's open beta at 2021, we better get an indication at least the start of the new year or at least in the summertime. Because if not, this game is definitely going to be deader than doornails. Okay, now talking about the, uh, what, what the frick am I trying to say? Uh, PVE. Uh, I just think that's going to be actually good. I think that could be good. I think it could work out. But like I said in that other certain affinity video, the Decepticons and Autobots working together just not seems. So as long as but I wanted this game to more or less be like War for Cybertron or Fall Cybertron because I never really got to play those games. Cause you know, I put on the 360, you know, that's what it came out. I didn't really play on those games because I never actually bought my own games. I was too young to well, I wasn't too young, but I could I played the betas. And they were fun, but I really would have loved to experience, but I couldn't experience it because, you know, they got pretty much canceled. You couldn't play them anymore. So, yeah, it kind of sucked. But the reason why I want it to be, like, something like that is because with a whole, a whole campaign, it's just not going to feel like Transformers if it's a PvE. I'm not saying it can't work, and I'm not saying it can't be fun, and I'm going to definitely tell you it can be better than Transformers Battlegrounds. I'm telling you that now. But I just don't see it working because of the fact that it's a PvE. It's like Destiny. And you know how popular Destiny 2 was out when it came... Destiny 1 was really popular. Destiny 2, when it came out, it was popular. And then it just downfalled. It was one of the worst games ever. And it has like 1K uh, ratings on... Uh, uh, 1K ratings on uh, Xbox. And it was like two, three and a half stars. It kind of sucked. So, yeah... I just don't see this game being actually good. No, I'm not saying it can't be good. And I just can't wait to see what's going to happen with all this. Because I'm just saying, an open beta release at October 2021 just doesn't seem right to me. So if you guys have any other theories, comment down below. But I just don't see it happening. Because if there's no indication by summertime or the start of this year, then the game is definitely going to be dead. Or mid-summertime or start of summertime. Not end. Because end, it would very much say... It's not a really existing game. Because, you know, certain Affinity just said they were working on a game. Didn't mean they were working on Transformers. So, it just might not happen. And I'm just believing that it... I believe it's a game, and I believe all these leaks are probably true. And But if we don't get any indication by midsummer, start of summer, or start of the new year, like the midsummer, the start of the summer, or just like January, then this game is definitely dead. So, see what you guys think in the comments down below, because I want to know what you guys think. But, uh, yeah, um, uh, by the way, uh, this one guy on my, one of my oldest videos, and two months ago that I had the most views, said, you know, any information on the beta. So, now I know. So, uh, you're welcome. Anyways, if the beta is almost complete, then the game should overall be complete. It's not gonna, it doesn't seem right. I'm not, I'm not saying a, a really perfect game cannot take three years because you know how good C Cyberpunk 2077 is a good game. I haven't played it and I think it's just not a really good game. No, I think it's not a bad game. I love the graphics, but I've heard real like big problems with it on all consoles and even PC. So it's really not that good because I've heard like really big problems on it and i just don't see it ever being good but i mean it was it's a good game but it just had a lot of problems when, when it's, it's released but i think it's still going to be a good game i don't i don't i'm just not inter interested in that so i think it's going to be good but it, cyberpunk took seven years to make i'm not saying a game can't take three years but a transformers game taking three years does not seem like right but i'll see you guys next time and uh peace